Why is I'm here, man? Mr. White, I'm just asking you if you recognize 64 Bravo Bravo. I don't pull to be here. Do you recognize 64 Bravo Bravo, sir? I don't pull to be here. I pull to be in Changang Prison. I don't even know why I'm here. This ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't even know why I'm here. Mr. White, why do you not want to testify? Talk about anything today? Testify? This ain't got nothing to do with me. Uh, uh, hold on, Mr. White, one second. Um, I'm going to overrule your objection, Mr. Matthews. A a acid answer was his objection, and I've overruled it. So you can answer the question, sir. Counsel's question, okay? Mr. White, why do you not want to talk? Good. This don't have nothing to do with me. This is not my case. I'm already doing a 10 year bid. That I'm doing two on robs and hijacking doesn't have nothing to do with me. I understand that, Mr. White. Specifically, just with that photograph, do you recognize the roadway in 64 Bravo Bravo? No. Do you, have you ever looked at that photograph before and recognized it? No. I don't feel to be here. I'm going to keep sending out it. Mr. Mike, I understand that, Mr. White. So you're saying that you've never seen that photograph before? No. You've never uh, are familiar with it? No. All right, Mr. White, uh, I'm going to show you 65 Bravo Bravo. Have you ever seen 65 Bravo Bravo before? With all due respect, man, I'm ready to go back to prison. If it Ms. White, uh, I understand that. I'm asking you if you do recognize 65 Bravo Bravo. What do they got to do with me? D'Angelo White, what they got to do with me? Mr. White, can you just take a look at 65 Bravo Bravo? Just tell me if you recognize it. Hey man, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm ready to go back to prison. I'm just asking you to just take a look at that photograph and just let me know if you recognize it. You disturb me. I don't even pull to be here. I'm just trying to finish my 36 month out of 10 years and go home. Feel me. I don't pull to be here. I understand that, sir. I'm just asking you, do you recognize the roadways in 65 Bravo Bravo? Regardless if you want to be here, do you recognize it? So you're going to force me to be here? Y'all going to force me to be here? Now that you're here, Mr. White, I'm just asking you, do you recognize 65 Bravo Bravo? I don't vote to be here, man. I'm ready to go back to prison. Keep telling me that. Your Honor, may I approach briefly? You, Mr. White, you did have a friend named Pooley coming up. Isn't that correct? No. Why you keep trying to tell me I had a friend named Pooley? Mr. White, you remember when Lieutenant Oliphant and myself met you for the first time that we talked about a little earlier? I, yeah, I don't know that dude. I just seen him do one time. That don't mean he's my friend because I met him one time. Well, you do know something about the name Pooh. I met him one time, but I don't know him. And is it true or not true that when I met you, you never talked to me before, with my lieutenant, you remember a time that Pooh got shot? No. Now, you... Have you ever been... So, Mr. White, do you recall looking at photographs of individuals that you were familiar with growing up when Lieutenant Oliphant, excuse me, Lieutenant Baker and myself met you? No. Do you remember recognizing someone you knew as Neil? Isn't that correct? No. Do you remember recognizing someone you knew as Crucial? Isn't that correct? No. Have you ever heard of Club Crucial? No. You've never heard of Club Crucial, Mr. White? Mm -mm. Can you name any club in the city of Atlanta? I don't go club. Okay. So, do you remember when I met you there with the old font that I asked you, is it like Club Crucial? And you were like, yes, your friend named Crucial. Do you remember that, sir? No.
Do you remember um, a blue Ford Escape photograph that we showed you with my investigator? Only way I remember because you showed it to me, yeah. But when I showed it to you, do you remember talking about that vehicle? No. Do you remember telling Lieutenant Baker and I that that was your friend Neil's rental car on April 12, 2015? You gonna keep trying to make me remember something like this is I don't this is not my case. I'm keep telling you that, man. This is not my case. I don't pull to be here, man. Mr. White, is your your first name is Angela, is that correct? You got me here? Hey man, I don't like like you holding me against my will, like I don't need pull to be here. Like what do this got to do with me? Mr. White, I'm just asking you questions. Oh, but this ain't got nothing to do with me. How long did it take your sister to come pick you up after you got shot? Excuse me, sir. I'm ready to go back to prison, man. You feel me? This ain't got nothing to do with me, man. You feel me? I serve time on my own bed. So you're a witness. I'm not no witness. Y'all brought me here. We're forced to be here. I'm showing the business council what Mark is for, Bravo, Bravo. Mr. White, sir, I'm showing you for, Bravo, Bravo. Do you recognize the person in for, Bravo, Bravo? I see him one time. When you saw him, what was his name? Whatever you saying there. He's that, that's Pooh, correct? I don't know, I seen him one time. But you saw him, that was the person you knew was Pooh. Is that fair to say? It's been a long time ago. Does that look like Pooh? Mr. White? He got a half a head. How should I know? Before he was shot when he was sitting in the passion seat with you on April 12, 2015, did he have his full head? When you saw Pooh before you called your sister, did Pooh have all of his head like you and me have sitting here standing here here today? I don't know. That one time you saw Pooh, he didn't have half his head missing, did he? I don't know. So you don't recognize the person in that photo? I don't even know him. You keep like, why is I'm here? I keep telling you that. Uh, Mr. White? Do you recognize the person that said Bravo Bravo? And me. Okay. Do you have more or less hair than you have today? I have less hair because I'm in prison. Now, is that a fair and accurate depiction of how you looked before going to prison? Yes. Now, Mr. White, you were, I know I asked you this earlier, but how old were, I'll put it this way, how old were you on April back in 2015? We can do the math together. I'm trying to impact that myself. How old are you today? It's, it's April 2024 now. 27. Okay. So in April of 2015, uh, how old would you have been? So it would have been, it's fair to say 2015 to 2024 is nine years. Yes. And you're 27 now, so 27 minus nine would be uh, 18, if I'm asked right. Yeah. Now, in this photo on the screen, as you said, that's you. Uh, how old would you, got, would you guess you were in this photo? 18, 17. And that is the, so that's the age you were when Pooh got shot and you called your sister? Yeah. Right. Now, thank you, Mr. <coughs> I'm going to show you what's been marked as three Bravo Bravo. Do you recognize the person in three Bravo Bravo? Yeah, I know him. Uh, who is that? Someone I went to school with in Lakewood. What'd you call? Mario. Did you ever call him Neil? 
Mm. You go by a different name. Uh, is his first name is his first name Cornelius? I don't know. He older than me. Have you heard people call him Neil? Yeah. And is that Mr. White back in twenty fifteen? Neil wouldn't have looked he looks older in this photo than he did in twenty fifteen, right? Is that fair to say? I guess. And Neil is Pooch's cousin, right? I guess. Yeah, we had with him. And when Pooh got shot, Neil was driving, right? And Pooh was in the passenger seat. And uh, now, when, when this, this, I'm going to show you uh, another photograph. I'm going to show you two. Stacey said five Bravo Bravo and six Bravo Bravo. Do you recognize uh, any of those photographs? Mr. White. What do these dudes got to do with me? Were they? I went the fuck. Do you recognize them, Mr. White? This ain't got nothing to do with me, man. I understand that, Mr. White. I'm just asking why you, you recognize them. And then, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to keep telling you that. I understand that, Mr. White. You ain't understanding me. Do you recognize the gentleman with the force in this photograph? What do these dudes got to do with D'Angelo White? They ain't got nothing to do with me. Mr. White, I'm just asking you, do you recognize the people in the photograph? What do these dudes got to do with me? Mr. White, I'm just asking you, do you recognize them? Just a simple question, Mr. White. What do they got to do with me? Do you recognize them, sir? Objection, ask the answer. I stand the objection. Your Honor, can I ask the court's permission to instruct the witness to answer the question? You may. Answer the question, sir, if you're able. What do they got to do with me? Answer the question if you're able. I'm ready to go back to prison. So, just a yes or no, do you recognize the people in the photograph of I'm ready to go back to prison. Mr. White, when Lieutenant Baker and I met you in prison, we showed you those photographs and you recognized them. Is that correct? What do that got to do with me? Mr. White, I just want to ask you yes or no, do you recognize the people in that photograph? <clears throat> do you recognize them? I recognize them because you told me who they were. Isn't that correct? I don't even know them. Basis. The propounder is testifying. Um, I'm going to overrule the objection. Mr. White, when Lieutenant Baker and I showed you those two photographs, you recognized them as people who were in the car with that Neil was driving when Pooh got shot. Isn't that correct? And you, it's like you trying to make me recognize him. I'm not trying to make you anything, Mr. White, but you're not answering my question. I'm just asking you, do you recognize him? I'm just trying to do my time and go home. I'm trying to go back to prison. No, I understand that, sir. No, you're not understanding me. Mr. White, just yes or no, do you recognize the people in that photograph? I ain't got to answer nothing. I just asked you a question, Mr. White. I'm ready to go back to prison. I got to ask you some more questions before that, Mr. White, all right? Mr. White, so on April 12, 2015, Neil picked you up in a blue Ford Escape. Isn't that correct? I don't know. Who was in the driver's seat, right? Mr. White? Mr. White, do you remember having a phone conversation with Atlanta Police Department detectives on July 13th, 2015? Oh, I don't need Poe to be here. Keep telling you that. So, did you ever have a conversation with uh, Detective Dennis on July 13th, 2015 about what happened to your friend Cruz? No, it's not my friend. You gonna keep making a man be my friend? But did someone named Pooh get shot? You keep trying to make the man be my friend. 
So he your friend? Mr. White, you don't remember, do you remember anything of what, do you remember having a conversation with Detective Dennis? No. Okay. Don't pull the beer, I'm gonna keep telling you that. I got my own crime, my own time, I'm doing. It don't have nothing to do with me. Now, Mr. White, uh, do you remember telling Detective Dennis on July 13th, 2015 that Pooh was your partner? It's not my partner, man, I don't even know him. I'm just asking you. you keep trying to make the man be my partner, man. It's not my partner. I'm asking you what you said, Mr. White. Not it's not my opponent. It's not my opponent. It's not my opponent. Now, do you recall Detective Dennis asking you what happened when Pooh got shot on July 13th, 20th? Oh, why don't you ask Doom for who, who you know? Do you remember responding to Detective Dennis? It was me, um, my partner, my partner's cousin, the one who got shot. And I really, I mean, there was five of us in the car. But we was coming up the gas station at Sitco on Jonesboro Road, and the car behind us, so the car was in front of us. He was driving like my partner was driving, like he was driving how he drives, how he normally drives because he was in our hood. You know what I'm saying? Do you recall telling Detective Dennis that on July 13th, 2015? No. Oh. Do you recall Detective Dennis asking you, was he driving fast? They felt like he was driving fast or something? I don't pull to be here. Why you keep, I, what, you, what do you not understand? What did y'all not understand? Do you recall Mr. White responding? That's how he felt, but we're not going, we were not going anything but like doing. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember that, Mr. White? I'm trying to go back to prison. Do you know what I'm saying? I understand that, sir. Now, do you recall, Mr. White, do you recognize anyone in this courtroom here today? No. Have you ever seen anyone in the courtroom before or ever know them? No.